Okay, we're at uh, Porus High School where we're screening the fifth form students. We're screening them for hemoglobin abnormal hemoglobin genes that can give rise to babies with sickle cell disease. These genes affect 15% of the Jamaican population. The whole object of this study is to empower the students to know whether or not they carry abnormal genes so they will know whether they are at risk of having a baby with sickle cell disease in the future. With this information and with the counselling that follows because all identified carriers of abnormal genes receive individual counselling, they can then make an informed decision about their future partners. If they carry an abnormal gene and their future partner is absolutely normal, they cannot have a baby with sickle cell disease. If on the other hand, their, their partner actually carries an abnormal gene, then depending on the nature of that, there would be a one in four chance at each pregnancy that the baby would have sickle cell disease. No, we have 15 schools. 13 are in Manchester proper and two are in Spaulings, which are registered to be in Clarendon. So this is just our first screening experience but we have 14 more to go. To think of this as empowering young persons to make the right decisions. As you will see it sometimes isn't always an activity that the young persons enjoy. A lot of them are scared of blood tests but it's definitely worth doing because 15 percent of us in Jamaica carry some abnormal hemoglobin gene which doesn't affect us in any way and the only way they're going to know is if they have this screening test done. The other beautiful thing about this test is that because this is coded in your genes it never changes. So once you have this test done there is no need to repeat it again. The only thing that could change is a bone marrow transplant. So this is a result that you take with you for life. Over the years we have been having students with sickle cell and we know the challenges that they have been facing. So we welcome this screening at our school and um, we find that from time to time the students who have left they are coming back to ask for their results because it is very useful to them out there and we find that it is very costly so I will encourage all the students and all the parents to encourage their students to do this test because it is very useful and um, in doing this test we will have less babies with sickle cell and in so doing that we will have a country who is partially free of sickle cell and the study will go on for a period of five years in the first instance, fortunately funded by the National Health Fund and also by Alcoa International. If at the end of five years we have actually shown a declining frequency in babies born with the disease, then it means the Jamaican government has a model to use to actually reduce the frequency of this disease in the future. And that can be very important. This is a disease that costs the health service over a million dollars lifetime costs for each patient with the disease. The cost of the screening program is five and a half million a year so if we can prevent six births the ministry and the health services start to save money.